Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Hopefully, you will find it informative. And the book that I'm about to review for you is one you will seriously consider. And the book is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is published by Kathleen Teagan Books and it retails for $23.99. This is in the young adult reader genre, but I think adults can re read and appreciate this book just as much as younger people, though I'm sure younger people will um, enjoy the message possibly more. It is a most interesting work, and the author admits she is paying homage to Stephen King's first hit, well, his first actual book, Carrie, and the movie. Carrie as well. Uh, and the book does parallel it because the girl in the story, her name is Madison Washington. She goes by the name of Maddie and she is biracial, but everybody thinks she's white. Her father's white and her mother was black. And but she has kept this secret because in the town of Springville, there are still you know, racist attitudes. In fact, um, when they had the proms, they were segregated. So it's an interesting thing, but Maddie has an interesting power, as we find out in the book. Uh, she also knows that she cannot go outside when it is raining, and she has to be very careful not to perspire too much so her hair gets wet, because, and as we find out, partway through the book, um, during a gymnasium class where, where the students are running around the track, a sudden rainstorm comes up and she gets drenched. And what happens is her hair goes into a massive afro. So when she gets back to the class, people are just absolutely shocked because they know right then that something is not right with Maddie and one of the girls named Wendy takes a pencil and she throws it across the room and it lands in Maddie's hair. She, she doesn't even know it's there because her hair is so thick and so full that she can't even feel it. So somebody's filming it, so they put it online and it goes viral. But there are consequences for these actions. The girl who did it, Wendy, um, she's ready to go to college, but she finds out she might not make it to college because of what she did. So to try to make amends, um, the prom is coming up. And so she wants um, Maddie to go with her boyfriend, Kendrick, goes by the name of Kenny. Uh, he is a black student. And Wendy is white. And so um, Kendrick, Kenny, um, he sort of reluctantly at first, but the more he gets to know Maddie, uh, the more he's intrigued by her and infatuated by her. But I should also add that um, Maddie's father is a religious fanatic. He's abusive. He beats her and he pretty well keeps her under thumb. He won't let her um, have a life. Uh, they watch shows together. He, he won't let her go out. And when he finds out that she wants to go to the prom, he gets all crazed because of it. But Maddie like Carrie in the Stephen King movie, has secret power. She can make objects move. Uh, she can destroy things with just a snap of her finger. So you know where the book is headed. Uh, you see all the parallels to Carrie, but that doesn't mean the book is the same as Carrie. Uh, the book also looks at uh, racism, bigotry, and how people react to those of color. So when we finally get to the prom, um, one of the girls uh, has decided that they're going to play a big trick on um, Maddie and uh, they have a big bucket of white paint. So it, it is a rigged election for the king and queen of the prom. When Kenny and Maddie win, um, paint comes tumbling down. So. Uh, as, as you can uh, imagine, um, Maddie's powers are unleashed, destroying half the town. So it, it, it's a book that is most interesting, and like I said, you see the parallels to Carrie, but that's fine. 
That doesn't mean it's you know, a carbon copy, as I mentioned. So this is definitely a book that uh, is a social commentary on people's reactions to those who are different, people's reactions to those who are black, and it shows the racial divides in a small community of Springville. So if you're looking for a book that is definitely worth your time, it's over 400 pages, but in these pages is a heck of a story. It, like I said, it combines social commentary with horror. So um, when you're at your bookstore, The Weight of Blood is worth its weight in gold. Uh, it is an excellent read, one that will enthrall you from first page to last. So please let me know if you agree with my review. So until we meet again with my next review, and we will very soon, stay safe and stay sane. And I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.